back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Do you see any way? Solid right hand lands. Please, please. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. Now this is a byproduct of his energy level being. Big, big shot comes crashing home. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Good targeted left hook to the head, and here comes the uppercut behind it. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Comes right back with a shot of his own. And now he's targeting upstairs. Body shot lands. It was the right. See how he targets that hook? Good looking two punch combination there. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Teddy, is anything going to change at this point? He keeps getting hit by right hands. Probably not. Let's be honest, Joe. This is a habit. This is a flaw that was with him in the gym, and it's still with him now. It's not going to change. That was yet another round. But Joe, not three minutes. Five minute rounds. He's getting the benefit right now of that. Oh, what a left hand. Nice combination, jab, uppercut to the head. He's going around now, Teddy, like his legs are made out of wet noodles. Yeah, and my mother was boiling the water because she used to make sure that that water boiled and boiled was never al dente. These legs are not al dente. Nice work, the left hand to the head. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. There's a nice left hand able to get in. Nice combination, landing more than one. Both were able to score. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Fires right back at him. And he counters back with a big shot. He's completely turned his offense off. You can see that he's just in an extreme defensive posture. But still, his opponent is scoring here. Look, the extreme defensive posture is a problem. But if he was moving his head with his hands up, at least there'd be misses there. When his opponent would miss, there'd be an opening to come back where even if you didn't come back, his opponent would be a little worried about sitting in there on you. He'd have to think defense. Right now, he's only thinking offense. Keep your hands up. That right hand serving him well. That just missed. Punches and bunches working well. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Move! it off. You know, you faint and you're going to throw something, you don't throw it. And then he makes a move. Then you oh, he is stunned. He could go down. And now you see him realizing why he's had success. He was aggressive at the end of the last round. He's coming out aggressive here in this round. Hey, if it's not broke, don't fix it. He's staying with it. You know, he did a very nice job of finishing up that. He put the third punch in there and landed the combination. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes to tone him. That's a huge left he just scored with. He got rocked. He 
just Ooh. got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Good, solid right hand land. And just like that, he's able to turn. Big, big shot he just scored with. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? The question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Committing to the body work now, he lands the right hand. Lands a big hook. And he just turns that hook up top, and it does damage. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Scores with the uppercut. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. It's so obvious here, but it needs to be said. I don't know how his opponent can continue on. He's dominating this fight for seven rounds on your scorecard. And that's a good point, So You know, as a quarterman, as a trainer, your first job is prepare your fighter, give him a good game plan, get him in shape. But always a priority, your first responsibility, look out for the safety of your fighter. Right up now, they have up to up be up thinking up. about stopping Keep this. Your hands up. This is really good work here, kind of like a boxing 101, and it's paying off. He's popping off that jab. He's staying at a safe, longer range here, and he's controlling this fight. Yeah, he's controlling real estate. Matter of fact, he looks like a real estate broker to me. He's charging a lot of money for ground right there. Every inch, every foot that his opponent tries to come in, he doesn't charge him 10, 20, 30 dollars. He charges them three, four, five punches. <laughs> He fires off the combination there, and it lands. Nice, nice. Able to land with the right. Way to hit the target there, jab uppercut. There's that overhand right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And yet another right hand lands. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works. He showed me that he does not know what he's watching sometimes. But you're right, in this case, it would be hard, almost impossible, to argue for the other fighter. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. They trade shots, he comes back with a right hand. Stay on the outside! Frustrating his opponent with great defense. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Well played, straight right hand. Very nice defensive guard there. Digs into the belt line with a hook. Well placed left hand there. Gets the hook after blocking that shot. Able to place the right hand in there. And now he's targeting upstairs. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. 
Good defensive skill. Good combination. Hook into the body with the left. And then going up top with the right. Locks it away. That is a strong uppercut there. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Nice combination. Throwing more than one. Both scored there. He brings a big power punch and it landed well. Well, we've been talking about getting in his kitchen. This is round number 10. Scheduled for 10. Goes up top with a right hand. I know it's good to throw a lot of punches, but it's better to do what we're seeing out of him right now. And that's land when you throw. He's making everything count. He's putting everything out there for a purpose. Placing punches beautifully. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Keep your hands up. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. I like the way he was able to hook to the gut there. Good strong combo. Oh, that's a big shot to the head. Good snapping jab. That's what you need to get inside. Hey, Joe, if you're going to rob a bank, you need a smoke screen so the guards don't see you coming. You want to get inside? Use the jab. Well, he's got the attitude. Something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. Gets him with the right hand. Little head hunting with the left. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Solid. From absolutely out of nowhere to now on top of the world, he just floored him with that punch. Short one, maybe six inches. the count of 10 that's it knockout never saw the punch coming let's get the official particulars and send it up to our ring announcer